Hey, good people. Oh, why are you all the way? Let's try that again. Operations with functions. Welcome to Good Bath with Miss B. Okay. Um, so function notation, this is the first thing. You know how to do all the stuff in this already. If you've gotten to this lesson, you just need to learn mathematical language. So that's what we're going to talk about. Addition, when you're talking about function notation, addition looks like this, parentheses f plus g, parentheses x, or it could also look like f of x plus g of x. Both of those say, I'm gonna add this plus this. You know how to add. Subtraction, same thing. I could have parentheses f minus g, or I could have f of x minus g of x. They both mean subtract f, and then subtract g from g. No, subtract g from f. Anyway, multiplication, parentheses fg or f of x times little multiplication dot g of x. Both of them mean multiply, f times g. Division, f slash g or f of x slash g of x. Both of those mean divide them bad boys. So function notation, we usually like to tell you that it's interchangeable with y. So where y would go, that's where the f of x goes. But in order to identify multiple functions, different letters may be used. So you could use g of x, you could use p of x, q of x, c of x, and more, because they're just different names for different types of functions or different names for different functions. So let's say you have f of x plus g of x. The first question you're going to ask is which operation is being performed? In this case, it's addition because there's a plus sign up there in that blue box. So you're gonna take purple plus pink. That's, the, that's, that's it, purple plus pink. Purple plus pink, purple plus pink. Combine some like terms, people. f of x, the three x and the six x go together, the negative one and the two go together. So when I combine my like terms, I go ahead and I simplify and boom, that's my answer. F of X plus G of X equals four X squared plus nine X plus one. You just added two functions using function notation. You're a genius. Yay. Let's do example number two. I only have eight examples today, guys. So we're doing great. So we're going to do f of x plus g of x. That looks different from the last one, but there's still a plus sign up there. And so that plus sign tells you you're gonna take purple and you're gonna add it to pink by combining like terms. x squared goes first, the linear terms 5x and minus 5x go second, and then negative six and positive six. I have a, if I have a plus 5x and a minus 5x, what happens if I have a negative six and a positive six? What happens? Well, they simplify to nothing, so, or zero. And so my answer is x squared. Ta-da! So f of x plus g of x equals x squared. And that's my final answer. Next, I have f of x minus g of x. f of x minus g of x which operation is being performed obviously the answer is subtraction right so i'm going to say purple minus pink so instead of there being a plus sign in the middle of the purple and the pink there is a minus sign but remember when you're subtracting you want to distribute that negative first so when i distribute that negative that becomes a negative six and then a negative two and then i'm just going to combine like terms like before 4x squared comes first, 3x minus 6x minus 1 minus 2. And I simplify 3x minus 6x is negative 3x, negative 1 minus 2 is going to give me negative 3. And that's my final answer, ladies and gentlemen. Good for you. You finished example number 3. Okay, example number 4, out of 8. So we're almost halfway done. This, the directions up there... Subtraction, good job if you got that right. But let's pay a little bit more specific attention and notice that the G comes before the F. So that means I'm actually gonna take the pink first and subtract the purple at the end. 
that is going to change my answer do not so pay attention don't put the purple before the pink this asked for pink before purple so we're going to distribute that negative we're going to combine our like terms and we're going to simplify so our answer is going to be x squared minus 10x plus 12 so f of x plus or g of x minus f of x is going to be x squared minus 10x plus 12. Okay, halfway done. Example number five, we're doing multiplication. So f of x times g of x, a little dot in the middle tells me which operation is being performed. It is multiplication. So that means I'm going to do purple times pink. So we are going to take f of x squared Multiply by using distribution and combine like terms. So 4x squared times 6x is going to give me 24x cubed. Yeah, that's right, cubed. And then 4x squared times 2 is going to give me 8x squared. Ta-da! So I'm going to move on. Now that I've done the 4x, now I'm going to move on to the 3x. 3x times 6x is going to give me 18x. And 3x times 2 is going to give me... 6x. So I have 18x squared plus 6x. Good. And last but not least, we got to move on to that negative 1. So we're going to do negative 1 times 6x, and that's going to give me negative 6x. And negative 1 times 2 is going to give me negative 2. Ta da! But we got to combine our like terms. Let's not forget about that. We are not done. Lucky for me, our like terms are right next to each other already, so we're going to go ahead and say 24x cubed. Plus, oh, sorry, we're going to say 8x squared plus 18x squared. That's going to give me 26x. 6x minus 6x, that's going to simplify to 0, so we're not going to worry about that. And then we're going to bring down our negative 2. So ladies and gentlemen, f of x times g of x is going to give me 24x squared minus 26x minus 2. All right, example number 6 out of 8, we have three examples left. I have f, g, x. What operation is being performed? When two things are next to each other and there's nothing in between them, what operation is that? It's multiplication! Good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say purple times pink. Multiply by using distribution and combine like terms. So f of x, I mean sorry, 5x times x squared is going to give me x cubed. 5x times 5x is going to give me ne negative 5x is going to give me negative 25x squared. 5x times 6 is going to give me 30 now we're going to move on to the negative 6. Negative 6 times x squared is going to give me negative 6x squared. Negative 6 times negative 5x is going to give me positive 30x. And negative 6 times positive 6 is going to give me negative 36. We're going to go ahead and combine our like terms now. So the x squareds go together. And then the linear terms go together. And when I do that, I have 5x cubed comes down. Negative 25 minus 6 is going to give me negative 31. 30 plus 30 is 60, and we're going to bring down our negative 36. So f times g is 5x cubed minus 31x squared plus 60x minus 36. Ta-da! Good job! Last but not least, we are looking at our function notation at the top, and we're going to say parentheses f slash g. What does that mean? What operation is being performed? Well, it's looking like division. So we are going to take our numerator, it's going to be purple, and our denominator is going to be pink. What do we do for a problem like this? We definitely factor and simplify. So the top part, the trinomial at the top, we're going to factor it. We're going to get 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 4. On the bottom, it's going to remain the same because there's nothing to do. It's prime. And what I notice is, omg, I have a 2x minus 3 on top and a 2x minus 3 on bottom. So when I simplify, what I'm left with is 3x plus 4. So f slash g of x equals 3x 
plus four. Yay! We have one more example. Everybody say one more example. Our last example, F slash G, what operation is being performed? You got that right. It is division. Like I like to say, if you're feeling lucky, pause the video, see if you can do it on your own. Division requires that I have a numerator and a denominator. I look to see what I can factor and simplify. And when I look at the top part, I see mm, that bad boy is prime. Okay. But when I look at the bottom part, I notice it is the difference of two squares. So x plus 2, x minus 2. And look at that. I have an x plus 2 on top. I have x plus 2 on bottom. So what am I left with? I'm left with 1 over x minus 2, where x cannot equal negative 2 or positive 2. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you perform operations with functions. Good job. Go check your notes. See if you can do the problem on your own without my help. And I'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe, all the things, and be good.